Hi guys, it's Teresa of Larkin Design. I'm here today with my Project Life 2016 album, and this is week 31 that I'm working on. And so I have created a layout. Um, this one I created in Photoshop and brought in my selection of photos for the week and then brought in my journaling cards, which are from Solid Studio. Simplify. These are the add-on cards that are available at thelilypad.com. And um, so I have placed those and then printed out my layouts at home on my Epson Workforce wide format printer. Um, both pages are printed in 12 by 12 on matte cardstock from Staples. And uh, they call it photo paper. Um, it's a matte photo paper and it's a 13 by 19 and so now that I have all of the the layout ready to go I'm ready to embellish and um, so I decided that I would use some of my Paige Taylor Evans um, this is uh, the <laughs> some of my Paige Taylor Evans um, Fancy Free Collection. Um, I know she just released um, Take Me Away, and but I decided that the colors in this one go really well with the turquoise in the Simplify Collection. And um, so I'm going to use some of her products. I'm also going to use a couple of the elements... Um, that are that Krista Solon released as well this month. Um, her photo journaling, the reason why, and you'll see those are little vellum pieces. I printed those out on turquoise vellum, and then um, there's also word art that I've used on two of my photos. It's called Lined Up Word Art Number One. Um, so I'll point those out to you. Um, so you can see how that I how I've used some of those products that are available in her shop this month, and so I'm just diving right in feet first um, with my week number and the dates here on this upper left hand corner, and this is the diagonal. This has this has a really cool diagonal stripe. But I was drawn to how the card is divided into an upper portion and a lower portion. So I automatically knew where to place my week and the number. Um, and then I added a little transparency element. I'm also adding a little transparency element here from Paige Evans' collection. And I'm using glue dots to adhere it down. And then I'm going to cover those glue dots with a couple of stars. Now, the green star is from Paige Evans, and the yellow star is actually from Allie Edwards. It's, I believe, from the Project Life Storytelling Kits. Um, so, yeah, and then this is the Becky Higgins Project Life Roller Stamp that has dotted lines, and y'all have seen me use this a lot. Um, I get asked a lot about those dotted lines. Um, so, yeah, that is my go-to stamp for creating lines on the 3 by 4 cards. And so they look great on these, um, these journaling cards from Simplify. Um, I was really excited to get a chance to use those. And then these are the, um, the photo journaling elements. And now these are digital, so you could lay them over your photo before you print it. Um, but I chose to print them out on this turquoise vellum. And then I'm going to handwrite my journaling right on top of it using a um, Sharpie marker. And then I stapled it into place and used another one of the little tiny stars. Um, from Allie Edwards, just to add a little, t a little something there in the corner. Now, um, this picture here is our my cat Nico, and um, 
we I rearranged the studio during this week. Um, I do that probably, I don't know, six times a year. <laughs> um, my husband probably keeps count because I make him do all the heavy lifting. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so we had we had organized, reorganized and rearranged some some of the studio that week and um you guys probably know that cats aren't really fond of rearranging the furniture and so nico was sitting in the cabinet there and then um you can see on the two center photos at the top you can see where i've used the word art i just brought that into the photos um and printed them out just like that um and then you don't have to add any embellishments to the photos. But I wanted to use these vellum strips too. Um, so I, ch I chose two more on this side of the layout. And so that just gave me an opportunity to just say, you know, what was important to me about those photos and why I chose those photos. Um, the more cat photos. <laughs> Do you see a trend here? Um, because they were they were just really obsessed with the changes that happened in the studio. Both of them really were. And <laughs> I should have taken a photo of the studio in its completed form, but that's okay. Um, the studio is ever evolving. <laughs> so anyway, um, cats it is, plus they're cuter. Um, I also used my Allie Edwards stuff stamp set and um, you know when I thought about the simplify theme I thought about well I am constantly trying to simplify my life and constantly trying to simplify my studio which is one of the reasons why I rearrange it so often because I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out, you know, what really works in my process, and my process is ever-evolving, and so that means that my space is ever-evolving, and the stuff stamp set just seemed to fit in with that. The wood words, um, love and stuff, those are also from the stuff um, story kit, so... Um, I'm still using my Allie Edwards embellishments here, and they just they just work beautifully, all layered together. Um, the chipboard flowers again are Paige Evans, and um, I I have to admit that I do like to have just a little a little floral somewhere on my layouts. Um, that's just my little quirk. I don't know. Um, so I like that. I also, I think I've neglected to mention there's a little um, epoxy floral on the upper left hand corner, that little flower piece. And that is actually, um, it used to be a bead. I'm not sure how it used to be a bead. But um, I went looking for brads, and I don't really have a lot of brads. So um, I decided to use that instead. And it's just put down using glue dots. Um, I used a glue dot to hold down the transparency piece, and then another glue dot on top, glue dot on top of that to hold the flower in place. And then this layout. Um, let's see, I'm going to add a another stamp sentiment to this last card and another um, floral um, puffy sticker and then this layout will be pretty much done so um, let's see there is an accompanying blog post that I'd love if you check out at larkindesign.squarespace.com backslash blog and be sure to like and comment and subscribe thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.